Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today I will show glass painting to you. I have already shown you some of my works. You can see it here for your convenience. Um, and um, now I will show you how to do them. Actually, it's a great fun. Those of you who love art would definitely love it. Uh, let me start with the materials first. The very first material that you need is a liner, glass liner. There are two types of colors that uh, comes in two different boxes. One is matte. You can see the matte color. This will give you the matte look like this one. See? The matte look. Okay. Or this one. Okay. And the other one is, the other one comes in a small uh, bottles and this is in a liquid form. You can see the liquid form here. See, it's liquid, liquid form. And uh, it will give you the glossy look, just like this one, okay? Glossy look, this one. And this one, the, the color will be transparent, okay? Uh, so, first I will show you how to draw a sunflower with the liner. First I will, I will draw three flowers here. One a little small. I will use the golden one. Hold on a second. The other pen comes. The other there's another pen that comes in golden. Okay. Use this golden color. And let me tell you, these are very easily available in any stationery shop. Like we have Boybi Chitra, we have um, Unimart. You can easily get them there. So this is a golden and they're very affordable it's not very expensive either so what you have to do let me show you this is how it looks so first you have to do the whole okay this cuts it like that and then you put the lead and here we go let me show you i'm doing the petals now Okay. and I'll do the I'll do the uh, leaf Make another flower here. Mm -hmm. 
We're done with the lino, okay? Not, now what we can do, let it rest for a while so that it gets dry, all dried, and then we'll put the colorings in, it, in them. First, let me do the, I'm going to use the orange here. This is the gold yellow. I don't have them. And this is the this is the orange. You see? This is the orange. So I'm going to use the orange here. Very little, not too much of that color. I would prefer this one. It's it goes like a tube. And it's like a tube and it's easy to color. You have to be careful so the color doesn't drip. You have to put very little so that it doesn't go anywhere. It has to stay inside the outline because it's going already. So I need a tissue to wipe it off. You know, to wipe it off. It's okay if it if it even drips, it doesn't matter. You can always wipe them off. Okay. to the green here. You have to let it dry first, okay? This is use the blue when the blue looks nice in here. You have to be very, very careful, and your work needs to be very um, tidy. So this is how it is like. Look how it looks. It looks very, very nice. And here, you can put some little more here.
just use the tissue so that it doesn't drip. Even if it's even if it drips, you can always wipe, wipe it off. Find the green for the petal now. Stay for I'll stay for a while. here Fresh tissue to wipe them off. It's not a very easy job. It's not a not an easy job to do, but all you have to have patience while you paint them. It's okay if it drips because it's going to go to the other flowers, so that's okay. It's a little orange here. For the green, this is, this is also green here. So put some green here. 
think this one looks much prettier. Maybe it's that color. Let it be like this for a while. See, it doesn't drip. Give it some time to this is completely mess, so I can wipe it off like that. The current can I will take um petal here. And I can make the This is basically how you use the color. Okay, I'll show you some more different patterns and different flower patterns. Patterns. This is basically how you do it. Okay.